Hello, and welcome to the BNZ World Report. I'm your host, Angela Ray, where we normally report global topics and events from around the world. But this week, we're out on special assignments, so be sure to catch up with the news to know on our website at brandnews.com, and be sure to visit Christopher Martin for your daily positive brand news brief. We'll be back next week. In the meantime, have a great day. Picture this, 1972, when disco was first getting hot, this man here was like New York's number one DJ. And I got into a club at 13 years old and saw this guy, two turntables and a big disco ball and the strobe lights flashing all around, the ball was turning around, you saw all the sparkles and the lights and the mirrors and and everyone had on shirts and ties and suits and dresses and silk dresses and it was just an awesome, awesome thing for me to see when he actually gave the microphone to his MC. And the guy got up there and said, yes, you're now listening to New York's number one DJ and you're at the world famous Nell Gwynn's and this is New York City so don't hurt nobody, body, body. And my life has never been the same. I had to get that same intensity, that same power, controlling power over those thousands of people. Well, there was about a thousand people in that club one night. Then the MC, he went on to say, you know, so if you're feeling good tonight, if you really feel good, somebody say, oh yeah, oh yeah. Somebody scream. He was, I used to roll up. I used to be a stick up there because he's not doing that anymore. You got cats nowadays, you know, came up five years ago.